Hi, this is Ben from ByteLight and today I'm going to show you how to assemble this ZX HD interface. Uh, people have been asking about this video uh, because some people uh, are a bit worried how difficult it is, but really I will show you it's that simple. So this is uh, the box how you will receive it when uh, it arrives after your order. And inside the box what you'll find is some cards with, look, my, that's me, Ben. Um, some uh, information about my web shop, web shop address and a thank you card, of course. Um, and a manual of the ZXHD. Now, what more is in the box? The, the case of the ZXHD, HDMI cable, the ZXHD in two parts, and the Raspberry Pi Zero interface with the pin header already connected. And inside the small bag are uh, four screws and uh, the SD card with the firmware. So uh, let's take a look at the manual. Um, it's a, I think a 12 page manual, yes, 12 page. And why uh, are there so many pages? Well, um, the first pages you will see some uh, features of the ZXHD and what's in the box of course. And then from the fifth page you will see the actual assembly instructions. Um, I won't process them now I'll, um, because I will show you of course. Um, here is the, the boot screen you you should see when it uh, boots up, and some more information about GLA Plus and future firm, firmware upgrades, and of course some commercials advertisements. So let's do the actual assembly. Let's open this bag. Here are two parts. Well, the first step is to uh, yeah, simply put these parts together. There is a notch here. As you can see, and it will fit in only one way in the bottom part. So that's the first. The second is the uh, Raspberry Pi. Um, here's the pin header, and it should go exactly into the socket of it. That's all. So that's simple, I think. And the last step is to slide it in the, the case, and uh, there is a, a, some sliding holes here, which should make it easy. So just put it in correctly and put it to the front of the case. And that's really about all there is. And you just finish it by closing it and put in the four screws here. This is really it. Although there's one step left and that's to insert the firmware uh, card, with SD card. And so get it out of the adapter and then just put it in the interface. And you can um, keep the adapter for future updates. Uh, which you can download from the website. So that's all. Well, let's test it then. All right. Well, I have this uh, toast rack, ZX Spectrum, and uh, to test it, of course, is uh, to put in the ZX HD. And I have some more interfaces like the DevMMC Mini um, and a joystick interface here. Um, I could put this one in between. There's no um, requirement to put one first, so you can choose yourself. But just to show to show it will work um, together. Um, then the cable. It's important to connect the cable to your television first because before switching on the setup. And it's a mini HDMI cable to standard in the HDMI, so the mini will go into the side of the ZX HD, and the other side, whoops, will go into the TV. And well, let's switch it on then. Before I switch it on, um, I just thought of uh, adding this uh, ZX uh, AY interface uh, because the ZX HD does not yet have audio over HDMI. Um, so just I will just um, get off this interface. I will put the ZX AY in between and then put back the DivMC Mini. And I have some very cool small speakers here, as you can see. Um, well, let's uh, switch it on and see what happens. So this is the ZX HD splash screen, which shows the firmware version, the detected ZX Spectrum model and some more details. Um, and f the first thing you have to do is press reset. Um, and there's a reset button at the front of the ZX HD, so it will enter uh, 
basic and because there is a different MC it will enter 48 basic. Well let's play a game and uh, look at the quality of the screen. Hope that's switched on. Yes. It's a bit loud so I'll turn the volume a bit down. And you can see here uh, the pixels are very sharp and the colors are very bright. So, uh, I hope you liked the assembly video of the ZX HD and uh, you're welcome to uh, order one at the ByteLite web shop. Um, it's zxspectrum.shop or bytelight.com, whatever you want. Um, and I hope you like the ZX HD of course and lots of other products are available as well. Bye! <laughs> Don't make funny faces. <laughs> Ik heb er een klein fragment bij. <laughs> Dat is gewoon een grapje, toch? Ja. Oké, okay. uh, waar is mijn dummy? Dummy, dummy.